Hello everyone, my name is Kador. I haven't uh, shown my face on this channel in quite a while, and that's mainly because I just haven't really felt the need to make a video face-to-face um, -face like this. I've normally just been uploading my music and sharing other people's music and whatnot. Um, but recently I've been watching a lot of YouTubers showing off their vinyl collections, their music collections, and uh, I started collecting physical music um, maybe like half a year ago, something like that. So, you know, my collection isn't very big so far, but I figured uh, I have some interesting stuff and I can show off uh, in these videos. So, yeah, I mean, YouTubers like Ambient Sound, um, he shows off a lot of uh, really, like, extreme metal, but also some noise and, and just, like, really underground experimental weird stuff that a lot of people have never heard of, so, yeah, he's, he's a really fun channel to watch, uh, so, you know, I'll link him in the description below, but yeah, people like that, you know, Mike C. Town, um, Wyatt XM, people like that, uh, have really inspired me to do this, so I figured I'd just make a few videos showing off my various pieces of physical music, so, uh, I'm gonna start with this vinyl record video, and just kind of show off my whole collection of those. This isn't going to be like all of my favorite albums or anything. Uh, a lot of what I've done so far is just um, sort of getting albums that don't exist on the internet. So like stuff I can only listen to if I actually buy the physical stuff. Um, so a lot of this is just going to be really like underground stuff that no one's ever really heard of. Um, but yeah, I mean if you're into that type of thing, then continue to watch. I should mention also that I'm going to be showing these in chronological order of when I got them. So. The stuff I got first, I'll be showing first. So we're going to start things off here with a book. Yes, this is a book. Um, but if you go to the very last page here, you'll see the sleeve, and there's a record inside. What do you know? It's an 11-inch, which is kind of interesting. I haven't seen too many of those. But um, yeah, this is Purient with Rose Pillar. So I got this obviously mainly for the fact that it is a book. Um, it is on YouTube, you can listen to it, I'll link in the description below as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, basically, these first few pages are an essay written by Dominic Fernau's mother, Dominic Fernau being the sole member of Current, and um, it's talking about her brother, um, which is, you know, Dom's uncle, and um, kind of his, what led up to his death, um, and it's a very... Yeah, it's a very kind of emotional and, and well-written essay, so some really good reading there. And then the rest of the book are these uh, images, these like photos, with a little bit of text next to them. And it's really interesting. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're all like taken by Dominic or anything. I mean, they're definitely not all taken by him because there's some really crazy photos in here. But yeah, he kind of assembled all of them together. And um, the text is taken from... Uh, some of it's taken from the essay in the beginning, some of it's taken from lyrics to some of the songs on this album, and some of it is just, uh, whatever, just stuff he made up, I guess. Yeah, it's really cool, it's just like an art book of a bunch of photos and text to accompany and accompany the photos, and it really makes you, uh, think about the images a little more, um, gives them kind of more meaning and sort of a cryptic nature to them, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really neat art book, and the music itself is uh, uh, pretty pretty standard for um, Purient around this time. Uh, just very melancholic, looped synthesizer melodies uh, with a bunch of distortion and s uh, whispered slash spoken slash screamed vocals over top. Um, yeah, really solid stuff. Uh, Spins the World Wheel Again is a fantastic track, and um, the ambient pieces that open and close the record are also really good. Kevin Drum features on a couple tracks as well. So yeah, really neat. Next up is a 7-inch that I actually got from my local record store, Mr. Suit Records. Um, I just saw this tagged as noise experimental ambient, and so I figured I would like it. And so I picked it up, um, and it is on clear vinyl. There's a split between Ryan Jewel and Face Place, and it has these like faces that are upside down on each side. Uh, so it's just kind of sandwiched be between these two, like, transparent inserts in this bag. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, the Ryan Jewel side is kind of, uh, 
it's noise, but it's not really harsh. It's just like sort of meandering electronics with some like field recordings and just various sounds. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's a really well made track. And then the face place side is a live recording. Um, it's not. I don't. I don't really like that side very much. It's just kind of like weird feedback that's kind of just warbling and that's kind of the entire track. Uh, it's not very interesting, but yeah. Anyway, cool little pickup there. This next one's really neat. This is the New England box set by RRR Records, and uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's delightful music. So the story behind this thing, it's a 5 LP box set, and there's 10 artists on it, so it's kind of like a compilation, uh, and there is one artist taking up each side of, the, of each of the LPs, and um, basically, they, all, the artists themselves made the, the, the boxes, like, I don't, I don't know who made this, but it's one of the artists on this thing, and uh, basically they took, like, old recycled box sets from just other, yeah, other, other box sets, basically, and um, repurposed them and recycled them to make this, putting tape all over it and whatnot. So, I, so each one is completely different, and I just happen to get this one that looks like this. Um, and they even have, like, different materials in them sometimes. Like, I've seen ones that have, like, broken record shards in it. I didn't get that, unfortunately, but um, I did get this one that has uh, this cool, like, art record. It's basically, it doesn't have any music on it, and if you put it on your turntable, it would probably break it, but uh, it got, it's got all this spray paint on it, and it says New England, and it's got, like, these, like, burn marks. It's like they took a blowtorch to it or something, and so it's got all these, <laughs> got all these, like, uh, like, marks on it. And it says Emile on this side, which is uh, Emile Bolio, who's the guy who runs RR Records. Yeah, uh, really neat little addition there. I like this. Um, and then the rest of it is just... I'm not going to take every LP out, but it's just five LPs in there. Um, so yeah, this is just a really neat really neat package in here. Um, and there's some great artists on here, too. I mean, I got it for Purient, mainly. Yeah. Um, but there's also, like, uh, like Brunum Fullman makes some really good... Um, music concrete type stuff, just like cool sound collage, really really well made, um, skin crime track is good, immaculate grotesque is really good wall noise, um, Carl Heinz is good, sickness is always good, yeah, I mean, there's a few others that I don't care for quite as much, but overall this is really good, um, and just the packaging is so awesome, so. Next up is Failing Lights with Stay Absent, this is a 7 inch that I got from Earwax Records, uh, right before the Hospital Productions 20th anniversary thing in New York. Um, and, yeah, this is, a uh, failing, failing Lights is Mike Connolly, who's doing Wolf Eyes and is half of Clay Rendering, who I have a record of that I'll show in a few minutes. Um, yeah, I really like the cover art in this thing, but it's, it's basically, here's a record, um, it, it's sort of like the Ryan Jewell track from the other 7-inch, just kind of like weird meandering sound explorations um, with distortion, but it's not like harsh or anything, it's just kind of like weird soundscapes. Um, yeah, more, more about exploring sound than trying to be atmospheric or emotional or anything, so I don't really like it that much, because um, the sounds aren't even that interesting, but it's still pretty interesting. It's, it's still pretty cool to have, but I don't know. Yeah, anyway, stay absent. These next two I got from my dad for Christmas, and uh, this one is John Hopkins. This is a 10-inch. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like embossed within the uh, actual cover. This is John Hopkins. Um, John Hopkins, if you don't know, uh, he makes kind of, he makes like electronic dance music, I guess, but it's like really, really well made, really glitchy, really um, interesting, and and just great melodies and atmosphere and all that. And he makes some more ambient stuff, some like piano-based stuff as well, which is pretty much what he has on here. So this is the I Remember uh, single, essentially. So it is on, it's kind of upside down, it is on a white vinyl, which is always real cool. Um, a couple like darker spots as well. I don't know. But uh, basically on one side, there is the original version, which is just a straight up piano track, and then um, and there's also a like spoken word poetry thing from the guy behind the record label Late Night Tales, I guess. Um, 
I don't know, kind of interesting, but... Uh, and then the other side is the Nils From Dub Interrupt Remix, whatever that means. Uh, Nils From is... He usually just makes pure piano stuff, and then John Hopkins usually makes more, like, beat-oriented stuff. But here it's kind of reversed, with John Hopkins providing just basic piano, and then Nils From adding more uh, beats and other electronic sounds. And so I, I like his remix better than the original, just because there's more going on. But, yeah, anyway, it's pretty cool. This is Tangerine Dream with Warsaw in the Sun. This is a very old, beat-up, uh, kind of 12-inch single here. And I think it's live as well. There's some, like, applause um, after the tracks. And it's kind of, it's actually, like, signed here from 1984 from WXPN, which is, like, my local radio station. So I guess the uh, radio station had this, and they were playing music to play stuff on the radio, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, Tangerine Dream, I mean, they're electronic pioneers. What can I say about that? Um, yeah, it's just like, the stuff on here is, is I honestly like, like it a lot better than I thought it would. Um, just, you know, black vinyl. But uh, it's like really happy, upbeat, um, kind of euphoric, um, almost trance-like uh, kind of dance music. Um, just really great, uh, pretty synthesizer melodies and you know, very danceable beats and all that, uh, very new agey, so yeah, really good stuff. All the rest of these I got from Skeleton Dust Records in Dayton, Ohio, when I was uh, visiting relatives there for Christmas, so I got these really recently, I've only listened to each of them once, but uh, yeah, that, that record store is awesome, like you, if you're near Dayton, Ohio, you need to go to Skeleton Dust Records. It's like focused on just underground noise, experimental music, black metal, that kind of thing, um, yeah, th they got all that, and it's just really, really cool place, and the guy that runs it, Luke, is, um, just so friendly, so nice, and, uh, yeah, so I got a huge haul from there. So yeah, these are in no particular order or anything, but I'm just gonna start off with the couple of seven inches I got. So this is a split between, um, Asthenia, I think is how you pronounce that, and Samrak. This is just a little black metal 7-inch split. Um, this side is, this is like so just DIY, like they don't even care about the packaging. Like this is so blurry, it's just such a low-res image. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of hilarious. Um, Invocations unto Belial is this side, and then Samrak is gathering at the ruins. Um, I'll take this out of the thing. But yeah, uh, I don't know, this is pretty much a blind buy, I just heard a couple tracks from both of these bands and thought there was just decent black metal, so I thought I'd just kind of pick it up. Um, and yeah, uh, the Sombrak side is, is pretty standard black metal, just really repetitive. Um, it's okay, but it's not nothing too amazing about it. Uh, the Asenia side is more interesting, it's kind of, the guitar tone is really weird, it, it almost doesn't even sound like a guitar, and it's kind of hard to tell, like you can make out melodies, but I don't know, like the, the tone is really strange sounding. And uh, the vocals are really good. They're really like caustic and distorted and just biting. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Next up, we have Sunken Cheek with From Behind. Now, this is special because it is a flexi disc. I'm not just completely destroying a record right now, it's actually uh, supposed to do that. So, that's fun. I've never had one of those before. Um, really cool cover art. I like that. Some nice collage art. But, yeah, the uh, disc itself is this square white single-sided thing, uh, with the, uh, ring around it where it plays, so it's just like five minutes of music, but, um, it's pretty neat, uh, some more art there behind it with, like, a poem, I think, going on, I mean, I, I don't think they're vocals, because I don't hear any vocals on this thing, I don't think they're lyrics or anything, but yeah, anyway, Sunken Cheek, From Behind, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like rhythmic, uh, industrial, power electronics type stuff, um, a lot of delay effects going on here. That's pretty decent. This is Aristu and Amy with Ostrakhan. Probably didn't pronounce any of that correctly, but uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is, uh, I heard the first track on this, of this online, and it really piqued my interest and made me want to get the other side. And uh, it's, it's like, it's piano music. It's like ambient kind of improvisational piano music, but with like, glitchy electronics and like weird just electronic noises that kind of flow alongside of the piano stuff. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. 
first track is like a lot of high frequencies and stuff, like high frequency um, electronics, and then uh, black vinyl. And then the other side starts out with a kind of like atonal um, drone, like um, electronic drone, and then the piano sort of comes in later. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Um, yeah, blending of pianos with electronics. It's really nice. Next up we have a 12-inch single from Clay Rendering with We Are Aware. Uh, I saw these guys live and the they played the track We Are Aware um, when I saw them live and I have some footage of that on my channel from the Hospital Production Show and uh, that track's been kind of stuck in my head ever since I first heard it so I kind of had to get this when I saw it at Skeleton Dust. Um, it was on uh, Clear vinyl, which is very neat. But yeah, um, it's like, it's like goth rock, kind of, with, uh, with, it, it has, like, a very heavy kind of guitar, and then there's, like, keyboards, and there's, like, drum machine beats, um, I don't know, it's, it's really nice, um, the vocals are kind of, like, punky, and, yeah, it's, it's really great, um, the first two tracks are kind of like that, and then the, uh, the other side, uh, side B, towards Motionless, is um, more of just, it's an instrumental, it doesn't have vocals, so it's it's like really spacey, um, atmospheric pianos and kind of like synth pads um, over top of uh, electronic beat. Um, yeah, it's just really beautiful stuff. Really great, really catchy. Alright, next up is Hive Lords with Tapered Limbs of Human Star. Um, this is some really well-made, well-played, well-recorded uh, black metal with some doom metal thrown in here and there as well. Um, yeah, I like the cover art, it's neat. Uh, yeah, I just heard some of this online and just thought it sounded really good, so I thought I'd pick it up. But, uh, it, I mean, I don't know, there's not much to say about it. It's kind of dissonant, but still very, like, atmospheric. And, um, yeah. It's, uh, here's the, uh, lyric sheet insert. The uh, vocals range from kind of dissonant singing to shouting to just more traditional black metal screaming. Um, kind of runs the whole gamut there. Some of that. Um, yeah. It's just like really well made stuff. And I'm pretty sure these guys aren't really like popular at all. Like they seem to be still very underground. So um, I definitely recommend them. Quite solid material. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Mental Ease with Living Dream. Um, this is basically kind of like raw lo-fi shoegaze. Um, I really like shoegaze, and this is a pretty fantastic example of that. The, uh, <laughs> the cover is like really cheap, bendy like paper. Um, it almost looks like it's been like like stained in water. Like, like the cover has just been like waterlogged or something. I don't know. So oh, there's some uh, effect pedals in the back. Yeah, it's a solo project of Spencer Harris, and it's really good. It's just really like beautiful. Um, again, kind of like noisy raw shoegaze, and uh, it, ha it has some like vaporwave elements almost. Like it has sort of these like pitch down vocals at times, and a bunch of like reverse kind of effects, like reverse guitars and vocals and whatnot. But yeah, it's really good. And the uh, record is on this really neat color. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's like, I don't know, it's like kind of milky, cloudy, greenish tint, kind of. Slightly like marbly. I don't know. Really neat. So, yeah, this is, this is a great album. So yeah, those are all the records I have for now. Um, I hope you found some of this to be interesting, and uh, maybe get some, some recommendations if you're into this kind of music. Um, I have a LP from SkinGraft titled Enemy uh, coming in the mail, because I got that from Skeleton Dust and I forgot to pick it up, and Luke there was nice enough to send it in the mail, so I should be getting that at some point. But, um, yeah, uh, if I get that before I finish editing this video, then maybe I'll uh, just add that as a little tag-on. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for now. I should be able to upload this all as one video. It shouldn't be too long. So, um... Thank you for watching. I'll have links to everything I can provide links to in the description below. And I'll be making a video just like this one, but for tapes, and then another one for CDs that I have. 
um, in the future, so keep a lookout for those, subscribe and all that, and uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.